Good morning from Budapest. I just woke up and wait, look at this. Also, you guys, let's just be real. I was gonna clean up my room before I showed you guys what the situation here was, but I just frank, quite frankly don't want to, so. I can do this. Curtain. Oh, wait, why did it stop? Curtain. view is beautiful. Oh. Oh, it's because I put the blinds down. Today, I'm in Budapest. I just got here after um, a wonderful, like, 15-hour day of travel. Woohoo! And I'm tired as shit. Did not sleep well, but, you know, slept I don't know, I slept okay. Anyways, today is my first day here. I'm here till Thursday, it's Monday now. And um, I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can, but to be honest, I think today's kind of the only day that I can really vlog because the rest of it, I'm here for work and uh, I cannot tell you what that is. You'll know when it happens, but I can't tell you right now. Beautiful, wow. I've never been to Hungary, let alone Budapest. So it's like a cute little situation here. Oh, now I'm stuck. Oh shit, oh, there we go. I'm thinking maybe I might try and do vintage shopping today. Maybe I'll do absolutely nothing and just go crazy in my hotel room. Who can say? Uh, I do have a meeting and I only have an hour to eat the complimentary breakfast before they close it, so. In a surprising twist, I underpacked versus overpacked. I'm an overpacker. And so this is what I'm left with for breakfast. I literally didn't bring any other outfits that weren't for shooting. Besides one outfit that I had for today, but it's like a little bit uppity, like it's a little too dressed for breakfast. So this is what we're, what we're going with. Now I'll see you after I'm fully satiated. Shit. I feel like you guys are getting a lot of me doing vlogs kind of crouched over. It's because, I don't know that you even care. It's because I usually use a different lens and that lens is wide angle and so I can see more. Or I guess I could just sit back like this. This is cute. <laughs> I have been in Budapest for like 24 hours so far. I got my COVID test back, so I'm able to leave the hotel now. So today is kind of like the only day I can vlog because the rest of my trip is like Sydney's working, I'm getting paid. Well, I'll get paid when I get home. Probably a net 30, which means within the next 30 days I'll be paid, hopefully. I was walking around, I took some videos, it's cool. I didn't wanna take, like walk around and vlog because to be honest, I kinda just wanted to like pay attention to what was going on around me, both to be present and to not like run into people or just like get mugged or something. I don't even know if that's a thing that happens here. I guess mugging happens everywhere unfortunately. We live in an imperfect world. Um, but so I walked around, I ate this pastry thing with the cheese in it. It's like Hungarian cheese. It's kind of like a cross between salada, what's that called? Ricotta salada and then actual ricotta. A little too cheesy for me, but it was pretty good. Um, and then I went to a vintage store, I went vintage shopping, which is like what I'm most excited to show you. Ew. So they actually threw in a scarf for free because I got so much stuff from them. I thought this was really pretty. I mostly wanted to get it so that I could wear them as tops over the summer. I know there's like some cool ways to tie things, but like most obviously like that. I got this dress, so cute. I also got this which I don't know that I love as is, but I just thought the crocheting thing was so pretty. And then it has this like fish tail, I think is what that usually when it's on a gown. What the f is this? I just tried on this dress and I sure as hell should have tried it on before I got it because what is this? Look, it's like a mullet, but a dress. Why did I get this? 
This is staying in Hungary. I got some negligee. I figured maybe like as a layering piece. Got this. I don't really know what it is, to be honest. I feel like it's like a scarf. Or you could wear it as like a head scarf is kind of what I was thinking. Cute. And then they threw in this vintage postcard for free. I was gonna get it. I don't know what it says, but it was written in 2000. Oh, in 69. Okay, so this is where like the good stuff is. Check, like what? This is so good. Are you kidding? Are you serious? This one I am obsessed with. Like, are you serious? So cute. Oh my gosh. Finally, this top I was like, this is like kicking. This is so cute. It has this cute little tie situation. So cute. And then it has a matching dress. Are you serious? I think I'm gonna have to alter the dress because my little arms are not that little. <laughs> <laughs> um, and maybe I'll change like the, what's it called? Change the neckline, but thought it was really cute. Wait, you guys, I, I forgot this one. I got this cute sweater. Look at this. It's so cute. And I like how it has the red on the bottom. Very patriotic. So that was my pickup. That's pretty much all I've done. And then I've been prepping for work. I think I'm gonna go on another walk. But yeah, thanks everyone for coming with me on this journey. I, again, I'm sorry I can't show you more, um, but I'll definitely tell you more about it when I am able to talk about it. Uh, but also, yeah, it was like pretty fun to show you what the dealio was, what the dealio is. I'll see you all in a stream or next time. Bye-bye.